Justice Tohen Sena respond. One, uh, what do you make of the concern that some of the southern states are raising and aren't they justified in doing so? And the second point that DMK is raising, that actually you have some vested interest in doing this because you are the only ones who, who stand to gain from this. Well, good evening, Shivani. Good evening, everybody. I'm sure you also realize by now that the opposition politics is mired in victimhood and hypocrisy and ignorance and also rank parochialism. You know, throughout the world, the, the delimitation or the, the demarcation of a constituency is based on population. And the same applies to India. Number two, where does this distinction between North and South India arise? I mean, for people like us who believe in Ek Bharat, Shresh Bharat, if you land at the Hyderabad airport or the Chennai airport, do you ever see a board welcome to South India? So these people need to grow out of the, of the parochial mindset. You know, there is still some time for delimitation. We will cross the bridge when we come to it. But it is being done with the best of intentions. The intention is to usher in democracy 2.0. Imagine 60% increase in seats. Right now, the, the you know biggest constituency in terms of population is in Telangana. It's in South. All of these constituencies, if they have an equal population, it would be good from the point of view of administration. But dynastic parties would have a problem because ultimately, you know, they, they always fear power slipping out of their hands. No, no. Answer the question about the population differential and how the representation of South Indian states that have kept their population, you know, at a certain level, at a controlled level, stand to lose if it was done purely on the basis of population. Of course, I have a fundamental issue with this distinction between North, North and South India. I grew up in East India, I stay in West India, I keep travelling to North India. For me, the whole country is one. Fair so enough. Let's say it is not about North or South India. I also don't agree with that distinction. But different states have their concerns. State concerns are still valid. So Assam, Assam will also have its concerns. Assam is a BJP stronghold. If you look at the figures, Assam is also likely to lose its, uh, its weightage by a certain percentage. So are we cribbing? Northeast is going to lose today. Northeast is a stronghold of BJP. So, I mean, you know, some people, some states gain, some, some states lose. But eventually, at the end of the day, the intention is better administration across the country. Okay, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, that's a fundamental point. You look at the representation of North, uh, Northeast India. It is very marginal in comparison to any other part of the country, even today. So how is it that that is okay, but if you if your seats don't go up by the same margin, then it becomes Why a problem be and okay? it becomes unfair? We, we didn't say that it will be okay. Northeast India, but South it has India, been the case so India, far. We, we also have the same feel, you know. Why do you think that we are, we, are thinking, uh, we are thinking differently? But here the point from South India, it is coming that if you are doing it only on the population grounds, hmm. we have you are forgetting the basic point. What we are trying to argue, since we have properly adapted the practice of controlling the population based on the successive central government's advice or instructions, whatever it is, now we are going to lose. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yes. Why don't you think, supposing the population of 18% is delivering 35% of the national GDP, then, then it, also, it also should be in the proportionate of population, right? Why it is higher, double than what we are. So the point here is, for the discipline, we will be penalized. Hmm. That is what we are actually asking. And we want all these southern, southern states to raise this. We are not trying to create an issue out here. We are only trying to, you know, make them understand, boss, this is the problem. Okay. Now those political parties, this, this will bring in many issues tomorrow. There will be many disparities in the days to come. Okay. The R. Raja Kopalan... Let him, is, let him come in. He hasn't has spoken yet. R. Raja Kopalan, uh, is there some sense of paranoia being spread? Because I remember when the talk of delimitation in Jammu and Kashmir was being talked about, there too, Kashmir-based parties raised a stink, saying that, oh, our share will go down and we, are, we stand to lose. Eventually, when the contours of the delimitation came out, it, you know, it came out that actually no, no one region is losing out. You know, so this parochialism and paranoia based on that parochialism, that since because we've had a certain amount of share, we should always have a certain amount of share. Uh, Shivani, you said it very aptly. You put it in a very cogent way. Apart from that, my understanding. In this panel, I am the only one person who has seen three delimitation commissions. Mm. I reported it. Mm. It is a legal issue. It is a constitutional issue. 
Now it has been a political issue. The reason being, all paranoia, all political problems or parochialism is because of the family dynast parties. In southern states, out of six, only three or four dynast politics is taking shape. There is no national party presence in south states, especially in Congress rule, uh, Karnataka. You know, when the time nearer, even the DMK representative conceded that in 2024, Narendra Modi is returning to power. So <laughs> no, it I don't is, think he once that. it comes to power, my, my understanding is that it is a paronia created by the regional parties, state parties, dynast parties. That is the reason the election commission will definitely bring in an all-party meeting before the delimitation right. commission is announced. One second, Mr. Reddy, I'm Let coming. the regional parties represent before the election commission and present their views. Let us see how the national uh, you know, view is taken. It is going to be an issue in 2024 and 2025. As you know, the, uh, we as the, we cross the bridge. Let us cross the bridge as we approach it. It is too early to speak yeah. because it is a very sensitive subject. My understanding is the dynasty parties will lose their control. That is why they are jumping and kicking up. 